Imagine creating Hollywood-level videos without breaking the bank or needing a degree in video editing. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it's not. Welcome to the future of video editing, where AI does the heavy lifting and you get all the credit. Say hello to the CapCut AI-powered video editor that's about to change the game. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, CapCut makes it ridiculously easy to create stunning professional quality videos in minutes. No more breaking the bank on expensive software like Premiere Pro, After Effects, or Final Cut Pro. Well, not so fast. While CapCut offers powerful tools and AI-powered features, many of its advanced functions require a paid subscription. So, while it's a great option, keep in mind that some of the best features come at a cost. So, are you ready to unlock the power of AI and take your videos to the next level? Let's dive in. Whether you're editing on the go, at your desk, or somewhere in between, CapCut has got you covered. It's available on PC and mobile, and even has a web version, so you can edit anytime, anywhere, on any device. The seamless experience across platforms means your projects are always within reach, no matter where inspiration strikes. CapCut isn't just versatile, it's designed to make your life easier. With its intuitive interface and powerful AI tools, you'll feel like you've got a professional editor sitting right beside you. Ready to see what this bad boy can do? Let's jump into the features. Okay, take a look at this video. Imagine this, you're sipping your morning coffee, scrolling through your phone, and bam. I am sure you have seen these kinds of videos with captivating captions go viral on social media. If you are struggling to create engaging captions, CapCut is your best option. Let's see how you can create amazing captions using CapCut. For example, I edited this video clip and want to add captions. To do so, go to the Captions tab. Now, here you will find some options like Auto Caption, Templates, Auto Lyrics, and Add Caption. As we don't have any caption files, I will go with Auto Caption. Now, select the video language. I am selecting English. You have to select your spoken language. Next, the bilingual captions. If you want to generate another caption in a different language, then use this feature and choose the language. Finally, you can identify filter words. Once everything is set, hit the Generate button. And here you can see the captions have been generated. Now you can customize the captions as per your need. However, you will get a vast number of trendy caption templates in the Templates tab. You can easily select templates from here. You will get a bunch of options here. So try some of them and choose the perfect one. Now imagine I want to generate captions in another language. To do that, turn on the bilingual option from here and then choose the target language. Next, if you want to delete the current captions, click here and then hit the Generate button. And here it is. You can see the French version of our captions is ready. This is just amazing. Okay, now if you find any issue with the caption, then you can customize the text from here. This is not the end. You can generate voiceovers using the text-to-speech tool from here. To generate the voiceover, select all the text blocks and then go to the text-to-speech tab. Here, you will find a vast number of voice models. Listen to some of them and then choose the perfect one. After selecting the voice model, hit the Generate button. And here it is, the voiceover has been generated. Now you can remove or mute the original voiceover and export the video. Stell dir das viola du nips dein an morgen kaffee, scrollst du den telefon an bam. In 40 footy rex schlendert lasig and dein am finster vorbei. Yep. This feature will remove the language barrier and help you reach a global audience. Okay, I'm sure you've seen this kind of video where text moves behind the subject. You can easily create this effect using CapCut. I am using the CapCut desktop version to create this effect. For example, I want to put text behind this person. First, duplicate the video clip and put it on the second timeline. Now, select the clip from the upper timeline and then go to the top right side. Here, you will find several features. Select the Remove BG option. There are three options to remove the background. Auto Removal, Custom Removal, and Chroma Key. As our background has complex elements, I will use the Auto Removal tool. Once you select the tool, the background will be removed automatically like this. Now go to the Text tab from the left side. Here, you will find a vast number of pro-level text effects and templates. Select the one you need. For example, I am selecting this one. Now, we have to put it under the video without background and on top of the original video clip. Now change the text as per your need. After that, choose a font that will make your text visually appealing. Next, you can customize the font to make it perfect. After that, go to the Animation tab. 
Here, you will find a vast number of animations that you can add to your text to create a cool effect. Use the perfect one. Now, look at the final look. That's amazing. All right. Now imagine you are a podcaster who uses multiple cameras to record episodes. Editing the video takes a lot of time and effort. The CapCut multi-camera clip feature can reduce your workload. For example, here are some video clips of a video recorded with three different cameras. Now, to create a multi-camera footage, insert all the video clips into the timeline. Place them one by one. After that, select all the clips and click on the right button on your mouse. You will find several options. Select the multi-camera clip from here. Now, whatever name you want to give it, let's assume I call it test. In the synchronization method, there are three options, auto, audio, and first frame. If you are making a video that is based on audio, then you should select audio. I'll choose auto. Let's remove the proxy and click OK. Once you press OK, it will take about 5 to 10 seconds to synchronize the audio. So basically, I'll get all three clips together, and I won't have to arrange them manually. In this way, as we were discussing, the clips have been arranged. Let's say my video starts from here. Now, as you can see, I have all three windows showing the three video clips, and the final preview is appearing here. Now wherever I want to cut, let's say at this point I want to show this angle, and at this other point I want to show another one. As you keep clicking, you'll see on the timeline that cuts are being made. This means that all I have to do is click on the clip, and for that portion, whichever camera I select, camera 1, 2, or 3, that camera will preview at that point. Now, if I play it back for you, look at the final window blindfolded? Well, here are a few tips to make your boss. You can see that the audio is playing continuously while my camera angles are switching. So what's the benefit? First, it saves a lot of time, and when creating videos with a multi-camera setup, you don't need a professional setup or all these extra things. This feature is a blessing for those who create multi-camera videos like podcasts, interviews, and others. Okay, now imagine you have old or low-quality video footage, and you want to enhance the quality. You may find various AI enhancer tools on the internet. You have to buy them to enhance your video. However, now you can enhance any low-resolution video with CapCut. Go to the right side panel. Here in the video section, you will find the AI tools. On the AI tools tab, various AI features help an editor get outstanding results. We have to select this enhance image option. It will take some time to enhance the video. And here it is. The video has been enhanced it produced a very good result. Now you can change the parameter between HD and UHD. Next, if you want to fine tune the video clip, you can use the reduce image noise option. Once the processing is completed, you can set the level. In that case, my suggestion is to keep it weak. Now if your video clip has a poor frame rate, you can use the optical flow feature. After enabling the feature, set the frame rate. You can set it to 30, 50, or 60 frames per second. Now look at the quality of the video. That's really amazing. So now you don't need to worry about low quality video clips. All right, you may have seen this kind of text effect where videos are playing in the text. To create this kind of effect in CapCut, first insert a plain black background. Then you're going to need your text layer. You can change your text to whatever you want and use whatever font you want. The third element is the video that you want to play within your text. Now select the video layer and go to the right side video tab. I'm going to go to blend, toggle that down and change this to darken. Now our video is playing inside the text. What's even cooler is that you can go to your text layer and add an animation. By applying the concentrate animation and changing my duration, I now have something that looks really, really cool. CapCut is really a cool video editor and has been popular for its easy to use interface. And it's become more powerful with several AI tools. If you want, we can start a series on CapCut Pro video editing. In conclusion, from jaw-dropping effects to seamless editing across PC, mobile, and web, CapCut proves that you don't need to spend a fortune to make pro-level videos. It's user-friendly, packed with AI magic, and designed to bring your creative vision to life in minutes. So what are you waiting for? Download CapCut today and start creating like a pro. Whether you're a content creator, a business owner, or just someone who loves making videos, CapCut is your ultimate tool to stand out. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about the CapCut video editor and its new AI features. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, 
And until next time, happy creating.